thank you for that, but um, the lava coil, the first lava coil I, I um, cast was too light because, and I, I didn't uh, um, look for the hexproof sign on the crystalline thingy. I've got two blue manas and I've got two unsummons. And I've got a scorching dragon fire, so So basically the, the mechanic of this deck is to um, have instants and sorceries um, to power up my crackling drakes and um, I've got Nif Mitzit in or Mizit in the deck twice. Um, well, if it plays out, you will see what I mean, but do we keep this? No. This looks better. Yeah, got all three kinds of mana. I've got the magic mirror to shoot, and I've got the temple of epiphany to scry. Oh, good. Oh, a blue deck. Let's hope it's not a mill deck. So, Improbable Alliance, uh, f uh, you have seen it before in the last game. Um, whenever I draw my second card each turn, so. My turn or an opponent's turn, uh, I create a blue 1-1 one -one fairy token. Oh, hello, little form. It's not a mill deck. Oh, it's a good deck. Yeah. It's red blue as well. Yes. the blue fairy. a few, yes, but no matter. Yeah. So the Royal Byron. Science give me um, this ability to draw a card and then discard a card, which is perfect for the improbable lions because it spawns me in a fairy token every every turn. In addition, I can get a creature plus two plus zero and first dragon temple and as the ultimate uh, for eight loyalty counters, it's draw four card cards and they deal damage equal to the number of cards in my hand, which is very handy with Nif Mitzit, whom you will see probably. So, this time I will draw a card, discard a card. Funny, the lava coil. Give me one less mana on the magic mirror and give me a fairy token. And so I have one blue mana left for my unsummon, so I can unsummon his um, enchantment riddle form when it becomes a creature. Nice, yes, resolve. I counted on that, that you would probably cast something like that. So now I can unsummon this thingy and 
boohoo. Cost two mana, so you can cast it again. But sorry. And basically, yeah, okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Royal Science. Basically, a blue deck is just to annoy the opponent so much that he or she will concede. So, now I've got six mana and I've got no creature to cast my Lava Coil on, but with six mana I can draw a card and discard a card with a Trouble Alliance, and I'll just do that and throw away the Lava Coil. So, all attack, four less on the opponent. And the magic mirror costs six mana. But I've got only two blues. Oh no, I've got the island on my hand here. Yeah. Why didn't I play it in the last turn? See, those are the little mistakes that can, that can cost your whole game. <laughs> Yeah, me too. So, Magic Mirror. Hello, Magic Mirror. So, let's hope he doesn't or she doesn't have an, a disenchant or something like that. No, just card draws. Okay. And there we go! No maximum hand size. That was the first intention for the magic mirror, but... The card draw is very nice. Hello, riddle form! You're, la you're back again. So much fun! I love this deck. So, Goblin Electromancers. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Of course, it belongs to this deck. So, um, I've got this unsummon, and as before, I will uh, use it on the riddle form because it's just fun. And I've got one, two, three, one, one. So I will attack with those two. No, two, one, one creatures and one, one, three creatures. Well, the problem with with uh, me playing this is I always. Okay, I will use my unsummon on this one. I get so excited about my deck, that, that's it, what I wanted to say. I get so excited about my deck that I begin to make mistakes, like this one. Oh shit! There's another experimental overload. Yeah. This is bad. It's not what I want. Shock, I've got the Cloudkin 
Garcia. And I've got the lands. I don't need the lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. That's not enough. Okay. Won't do anything. No attacks. Turn. So I've got the shock. So I've got something to th to threaten my opponent. Um, I've got one blue mana and I've got four or five red manas. No, two blue and five potentially five red manas. And I've got two cards and my opponent doesn't know what cards they are. But it's not a very very clever player because I don't I don't know. I've got the feeling that it's not a very clever player. And um, because he just plays. There's no no discernible tactics in, in the in the game. It's just yeah. The third experimental overload, just put it on the board. Well and what's the third one? So maximum of four in the deck. And the scorching dragon fires and yeah. Well, you've got four mana. <laughs> yeah, well, or... I'm just... After 25 years, I'm just a... Newbie myself. <laughs> okay, Scorching Dragonfire. Yeah, do so. It's just a distraction anyways. Next one. Shoot the next one. No, you don't. Okay. So what I would do now is um, block the experimental overload with all I've got. And put a shock in. So he will probably shoot one of my cloud skin seers, so it won't matter. No, then that's completely bollocks. No, I will do this. So he will scorch it. One of them. Probably the cloud can see uh, that is blocking. Uh, that is, yeah, blocking the Vodalian Arcanist. So I will use my shock the Vodalian Arcanist, and so bam, the field. And I've got my next blocker. Hello. to play next. Scrying is always a good idea. There's the next shock. Well the Dryad now is, despite being a good blocker, is not so good for the moment as you can see. So the next thing I will probably do is Um, is no, I would play it. I would play my second land to get the light of the, the, the point. That one. And wait for him. Because my main mechanic hasn't right yet. Even though the magic mirror, I love it. I really do. Gives me so many cards.
Hmm, funny. I was thinking about that one. Come on. Take five. This is a downer. Okay, I will take the six from the first overload, and the the other one will be blocked by the fairy, and will take two shocks, and I will have enough mana to neutralize anything that comes there. So, yeah, why not? Still left. Does it change the field? Does it change the field? We create ex creature tokens with flying. Does it change the field? No, I can take that. It's okay. We may do that. not do that. So, last turn, last chance to do anything. Good. Uh, what to do next? How much mana do we have? 1, 2, 3, 7, 11, 13. That means... 4 for the murmuring mistake leaving nine the unsummon on to no not on the weird because we have the blitz of the thunder raptor with eight which leaves us eight four great eight for flying so we have a bit of work to do gain one life get the murmuring mistake have nine mana left Three, seven, eight, nine. I love it. I really do. I hope it works. So, the Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Unsummoning one of you. How much do we have left? Two, seven, no, two, five, seven, which will be enough. A low crackling straight. 
see. No attacks. <laughs> see? Well, and I didn't even begin to play. <laughs> this is what I like so much about blue red draw decks. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. It's always what well, you have to you have in in a in a with a blue control deck, you have to be very patient and I lack patience and um you have to prepare for the moment, for the right moment. You have to decide when you have a counter on your on your hand is the card or is the the spell my opponent is, is, is playing worth the counter or do I save it and counter the next one which will be well uh, a 3-3 three, three flying creature with some shenanigans and this is so hard. It's so hard to be patient, to wait for the right moment. No, don't be. Just 25 years of experience and a bit of luck. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, I won't be able to play that deck in the next um, upcoming season. Because... Um, it's got some cards in it that won't be um, won't be playable in standard 2021. And this card, this card is the uh, thing that started it all because uh, it's a flying five five dragon which costs three blue and three red, which I don't care about with the Dryad of the Elysian Grove because. Every land has every other basic land type. And 5-5 um, five, five flying, 6 mana, this spell can't be counted. Whenever I draw a card, if mid set, the Parun deals 1 damage to any target. So that's the point of the whole deck. Whenever player casts an instant or sorcery spell, I draw a card. So that's why there are instants, there are sorceries, there are draw abilities. That would, would have been so much fun when I would have been able to play it in the last game. But okay, it was fun anyway. So, um, well, it's quarter to eleven now. I'm very tired. Yeah, it, it really is. It really is fun, but yeah, you have to be patient and I uh, made a statistic and it works 50% of the time, so yeah yeah, uh, cheers uh, thanks, same to you and uh, see you around in the future well, I will leave the music on and uh, good night and goodbye <laughs>